Good day students and welcome to mathematics class. And in, uh, in the starting of this class we are going to uh, look into measuration of plane surface. The actual topic is measuration of solid surface but we are first of all going to uh, be acquainted or be sure of plane surfaces, how to handle the plane surfaces which is the areas of the plane surface and the lengths and so on and so forth before we will proceed into the solid surface. Uh, so going with that we are going to look into the following question which is talking about um, a rhombus. Uh, maybe most, m most of us don't know what rhombus is actually all about. A rhombus is a, plunge, uh, a quadrilateral, that is, it has four sides and uh, it is shaped like um, a parallelogram, but in this case, the four sides, the four sides on the, on the shape are all equal, just like a square. So it has both the characteristics of parallelogram and also a para a, the characteristics of a square. So that is what rhombus is all about. Just like as we are illustrated, as is illustrated on this diagram, that is exactly the shape of a rhombus. Also, in a rhombus, it has two on a call diagonals which intersect and bisect each other at the center. They intersect and bisect each other at the center and also form an angle of 90 degrees at the point of intersection. So in that case, the, para, uh, the rhombus I have, I'm having here now has up to four uh, right angle triangles because from here to there, to there is a right angle triangle. The same thing is applicable to this, this and that. So the four triangles are right angle triangles. So in this case, looking at the equation we are asked to find, we need to find the perimeter of the rhombus. The equation says the diagonals of a rhombus are 10.2 cm and 9.3 cm long. Calculate correct to one decimal place the perimeter of a rhombus. So, um, with that in our mind, I'm proceeding. We, let me insert a, a diagram so that we can use it to explain further. Okay. This is only a rhombus. Uh, so, let me use this part to explain what we have here. Uh, we have the longer side and the shorter side. The longer side of the parallel of the diagonal of the of the rhombus is um, ten point. According to the equation, is ten point two, and the shorter side is nine point three. So with that, uh, ten point two plus ten point divided by ten point two will give us ten point two divided by 2 will give us 5 5.1 centimeter and again on the other side uh, which is 9 9.3 when divided by 2 we give us 4.65 4.65 5 centimeter. So from here to here is 4.65 and from here to there is 1.5. So in order for us to find this side, this is a right angle triangle just like having a right angle triangle in this way. Whereby one side is five point 
one centimeter and the other side is 4.65 centimeter so we are looking for the length of the side as that so we are going to make use of Pythagoras theorem to solve this problem so using Pythagoras theorem I'm going to say L square is equal to 5.1 square plus um, 4.65 square so making use of our calculator say 5.1 times 5.1 equal to that will give us um, r square is equal to 26.01 loss uh, next we have uh, 4 point 4.65 this is 5 times 4.65 that gives us 21.6225 yes. 21.6225 so now adding them up we have we have uh, 216225 plus plus 26 point zero one and that will be equal to uh, forty seven point six three two five forty seven point three plus forty seven point six three two five forty seven point six three two five so that L will be equal to root forty seven point six three two five which will give us um which will give us um, that's not correct so let's use square root of forty Seven point point six six three two five square root will give us six point six point nine zero one six nine zero one six approximately. So that is the length of the the length of the rhombus. So now to find the perimeter of the rhombus, we need to the perimeter. We need to say perimeter of the rhombus. equal to 4 because we have 4 equal size times um, the value which is um, 6.9016 6.9016 multiply with our calculator times times 4 will give us around uh, 27.6 cm so that is the answer to that the first question 
20 is, is equal to 27.6 centimeter. Now, next question. We are given in the, in the diagram PQR below is a sourceless triangle of the perimeter. If the perimeter of the triangle is 28 centimeter, find the value of X and Y and then B, length of the sides of the triangle. So, solution. To solve this problem, we have two ideas. One, this is um, 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 this is uh, an isosceles triangle in which two sides of the triangle are equal. So we are going to equate the two sides that are equal that are marked with line, showing that two of them are equal. So that we are going to use to form one of the equation. And also we are giving an information about the perimeter of the triangle. That means the, first, the three sides has to be added together and equated to 28 to get it. So from there we obtain two equations that will help us to find x and y we are looking for. So going by that we say 4y 4y is equal to 6y minus 2s plus 1. That means Cross um, collecting light terms, we have um, 2x is equal to 6y minus 4y plus 1. 2s is equal to 2y plus 1. That means 2s minus 2y is equal to 1 or 2 into bracket s minus y equal to 1. So let's call this equation 1. Let's call that equation 1 and move ahead. Um, to say in the second equation that form y plus plus 6y minus 2s plus 1 6y minus 2s plus 1 plus um, 2y plus x plus 2y plus s is equal to 28. So from here we open the bracket for y plus 6y plus 2y minus 2s plus s plus 1 is equal to 28. So that's 12y minus s is equal to 27 so that okay we can call this equation 2 solving 1 and 2 together we have from equation two, we have that S is equal to of Y minus twenty seven. So put call it equation three and put three. Three and one, we have on one. We have this. We have a two into bracket s plus minus y is 
my gate closes is equal to one so say two into brackets s so 12 y minus 7 minus 27 minus 27 plus minus 27 minus y is equal to 1 so that will give us 2 into bracket 11 y minus 27 is equal to 1 moving further we have opening the bracket we have 22y 22y minus 54 22y minus 54 is equal to equal to 1 so that 22y is equal to 1 plus 54 22y is equal to 55 so that y then will be equal to 55 over 22 which is actually equal to 5 over 2 or 2.5 centimeter okay 2.5 as in the value of y so having found that we can now proceed to say so put y equal to 5 over 2 in equation equation 3 in equation 3 we have s is equal to 12y minus 27 s equal to 12y minus 27 so that would be s is equal to 12 times 5 over 2 minus 27 this cancel itself and this to be 1 6 we have x is equal to 6 times 5 will give us 30 30 minus 27 that will give us 3 so we have therefore that s is equal to 3 and y is equal to 2.5 so that is for x and y the question also told us to find the length of the sides of the triangle length of the sides of the triangle okay length of the sides of the triangle that is b length of the sides For the base, for the base side, base of the isosceles triangle is equal to is equal to two y plus x. So we make our simple substitution, which will be two times three plus five over two. Okay, sorry. Five over two 
as the value of y plus 3. This cancels this to give us 5 plus 3, which is 8. 8 centimeter. And for the 2 equal sides, you can use one of the sides is 5y and 4y. 4y is equal to 4 times 5 over 2. This cancels itself and this to give us 2. And that gives us 10 centimeter. So the two equal size is 10 and the, the base side is 8. So we have found that. The next question, question number three, says that the area of a circle is 150, 54 centimeters square. It is divided into three sectors, each such that two of the sectors are equal in size, and the third sector is three times the size of the other two put together. Calculate the perimeter of the third sector. So to handle this solution, uh, we are talking about that the area of the circle, area of the circle is equal to 154 centimeter square. And uh, let the area the let the area of the two equal sectors let the area area of one of the two equal sectors be x and the third sector B Y. So it means that therefore that Y is equal to from the equation I say and uh, that are divided into the sectors so that the two of the sectors are equal in size and the third sector is three times the sum the size of the two of the other two put together so to find the area of the third sector it will be equal to um, three multiplied by 2x the two area of the two sectors put together multiplied by 3 according to what the equation says will give us 6x so the total area of the sector area of the circle will then be equal to s plus s plus y which is same as 2s plus plus 6x and that will give us that area of the circle is also equal to 8x 8x so 8s is equal to 154 which is equal to 154 so that s then will be equal to 154 divided by 8 154 divided by 8 is going to give us let's use a calculator 
154 divided by 8 is equal to 19.25 19.25 uh, centimeter square for one of the for one of the areas of the sector smaller sector then to proceed the area of the third sector then so but the area of the third sector is equal to 6x which will be equal to 6 times 19.25 times 6 is equal to 115.5 centimeter square so having done that we go ahead and find the area of the sector from the to find the area from the area of the sector to calculate the perimeter of the sector the third sector we need to find the length of arc and on the, in order to find the length of arc we need to find the angle of the sector angle sustained by the sector at the center so to do that we are going to use the angle sustained by the sector at the center we are going to use uh, 8 theta is equal to 360 degrees because angle at a point is 360 and the, the sectors total angle of the sectors at the center is 360 and the summation of the whole sector is 8 of the angle of the sector so that will be this so from here theta is equal to 360 divided by 8 and that will give us 45 but 6 theta is what we need to find that's the angle sustained by uh, by the third sector 6 theta will be equal to 6 times 45 degrees 6 times 45 degrees 6 times 45 is equal to 270 degrees so having found that we now go and proceed to find the length of arc length of arc okay third sector is given by 270 over 360 times 2 pi r and um, we are given the r to be we are given the r be before finding the length of arc we have to first of all find the radius of the circle which we can do by using using the area of the circle I told that area of the circle is equal to 154 centimeters square so which is pi r square is equal to 154 so that r square then will be equal to 154 divided by pi which is 154 
over 22 times 7 over 1 so that r square is equal to using our calculator we have a 154 times 7 divided by divided by 22 equal to 49 so that r is equal to root 49 and that gives us um, 7 cm as the radius of the of the circle so now moving ahead we'll find the length of arc to find the length of arc then using the formula given length of arc then for the third um, sector will be 2 7 70 over 360 times 22 times 2 pi 2 times 22 over 7 times 7 over 1 this cancels that this cancels this so we have uh, um, 9 into this will give us 3 and this to give us 4 this cancels itself 1 and cancels this to give us 2 so we have length of arc to be equal to 3 times 22 over 2 this cancels this to give us 11 we have 33 centimeter as the length of arc therefore the perimeter of the perimeter of the third third sector is equal to 2r plus lc which is 2 times 7 plus 33 and that gives us 21 sorry 14 14 plus 33 which is actually equal to um, 47